If you're someone who's looking to start your agency or your online service business and you don't have enough money to invest in your business, then this video is going to be for you. Okay. I've been in your position when I first started my advertising agency back in 2020. I was looking to use my time because I didn't have enough capital to be able to invest and hire people to do things for me. And uh, a few days ago, a client of mine who's actually in the natural born leader community um, asked me that, you know, share with me his plan of, you know, he's currently going to college and he wanted to scale, start and scale his agency. And he was like, hey, Serge, uh, my plan is to go to college. I only have a few hours of class and after school, I'm going to do 200 sales calls. Right. And my advice to him was completely different from uh, what he was planning to do and it's only because from going from the point where i was broke and had to do outreach myself had to close deals myself to the point where i'm making multiple six figures um, multiple seven figures millions of dollars every year if i was to go back and start from scratch i would do things completely different okay and in this video you're going to be able to hear my advice to him um, you know a kid who only has 200 bucks a month to invest in his uh, business and you're going to be able to see how i would go about scaling a uh, business if i had only 200 dollars in my bank account every month to allocate to my business and uh if you're interested in the natural born leader community maybe you have questions like this and you want to ask them then you can find the link below and um you'll be able to learn more from there and maybe join my sunday call and ask me your questions thank you bye bye yeah so, yeah, so i just need kind of it's like kind of like advice and a question so mm -hmm. i've just started college and i've tried to run an agency for a long time i've just never been successful with it and i want to so my budget isn't like a lot a lot it's maybe like maximum 200 bucks a month at the moment i want to i'm thinking of going to like real estate and running like an agency offer in there so i'm just wondering do you mm -hmm. think that's like uh, a good idea in terms of you know going into the agency space kind of trying an offer i'm thinking maybe doing like 100 200 cold calls a day to kind of you know take that up in terms of get appointments stuff like that so i'm just wondering mm -hmm. you know what would you advise f for me to do especially starting out with quite a low budget Mm, how are you going to do 100 to 200 calls a day when you're in starting school? Uh, so, I mean, it's not like full full time. I've got like maybe two, three hours of lectures a day. So it leaves me with quite a lot of time. Okay. Okay. So you said you only have 200 bucks a month of capital to play with. Mm -hmm. um, what's keeping you from getting 1500 a month instead of 200? I think the main thing is obviously I'd need to pick up a job and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. that's the main, main thing really. It's just uh, all my money that cool. I've got from like loans and stuff like that. I want to put yeah. up to my expenses. So technically I have the money. It's just if I spend it, then oh. I'm going to struggle. Yeah. So, um, so it depends. You have one path, one path, go ahead, do the call calls, acquire those skills, spend the next year and a half trying to become good at, booking appointments uh, closing the deal you will need to also learn onboarding you also need to learn how to probably figure out how to find a contractor you'll probably figure out how to get a manage that contractor to deliver results uh you can spend the next two years you know it will because that's what it will probably take you if you don't have money uh that's what it will take you to figure out right uh but if i was you i wouldn't why, why would I spend two years trying to become good at something people have become good at? So what I would do instead is I would go get a job, work six hours a day, five hours a day, four hours. I would become a setter. I would become a growth specialist. You know, those five, four hours, five hours you have, instead of going to closing or uh, trying to book appointments for yourself, come, excuse me, come work for client acquisition at IO. I'll pay you 5% of every deal you bring in. You make three grand a month. You take that three grand, you take 1K, you put it on ads. You want to know the potential of 1K on ads per month is you get enough appointments where you can close the deals with wh whichever real estate agent you want or whichever local business you want. Once you have that 1K per month, then you have 2K left. Then you take 1K, you find a contractor. You're like, hey, I need you to set up all these ads uh, for every client who comes in. And then you take the other 1K, you don't pay yourself. Fuck paying yourself. 
you go and put it on a VA who manages relationships for every client to make sure, hey guys, this is the update. This is, I need access to this. It's like almost like a systems integrator, right? Now you've gone from just wanting to do 100 call calls a day, 200 call calls a day, which to be honest, is not necessarily going to amount to much, even if you do pull it off. And at the end of the day, you're going to start hating your business because you're a slave to that business. Cold calling is fucking insane. Like, I, this is something that a lot of people don't understand. The cost to see success sometimes makes the success not worth it, right? Like, if you told me, hey, you got to cold call everyone to try to sell them a program, I'd be like, hey, guys, chill. I'm good. Let's go. Let's go get a job. Let me go get a little six-figure being a marketer, a head of marketing somewhere, Right. So don't think, don't, don't focus too much on like, like just because you don't have money does not mean you go and do the work. You want to become an investor. You want to become a business owner. If you just go try to work for your business, then you just have a job. There's no point in you trying to get a, a job that doesn't even pay. You know what I mean? So the logic is, no, let me go get a job at somewhere where I can learn faster, collect money faster then use the money to build the thing that I want. So that's how it would go. If I had 200 bucks, I'm not going to go call, call. Hell no. That's crazy. Right? Okay. Yeah, so that's the advice. 